Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Darkovica here, and uh, I wanted to talk about Eco Lifestyle. I have had this for approximately 24 hours, and I've played Eco Lifestyle for approximately three. Uh, and I wanted to share my first impressions. Obviously, I am not an EA game changer, so uh, the first chance and opportunity that I got to play Eco Lifestyle was literally with everyone else. Um, <laughs> so my thoughts are probably way behind the general public, but you know, that's okay. So my initial thoughts are, I am impressed. I am crazy impressed by this pack. There is so much that just changes, excuse me, changes the way that The Sims 4 has been played up until now. One of the things that I think people were really concerned about with Eco Lifestyle was how similar it was to the mermaid pack, um, Island Living. In Island Living, you have the whole conservationist thing where you're trying to, you know, repair the islands. And people were thinking, well, we've already done this, so what is Eco Lifestyle going to give us that, you know, Island Living hasn't? Apparently, like a whole new game. Um, <laughs> seriously. It's not just Evergreen Harbor that is affected by the Eco Lifestyle pack. It is every single world. And they went in and gave quarters to literally every single uh, world. So now there's like Courtyard Lane, there's Foundry Cove, and all of these areas have like little bios. So, like, that, first of all, that is a lot of effort to go into that. So, Every world has been, well, let's find out. Let's take a look at Forgotten Hollow. Okay, not every world. I lied. I've just proven myself incorrect. Almost every world has been changed so that they have these, um, these bios, these, like, little areas that are just, it's, it's such a cute touch, but there's more. I'll get to that. Uh, I mean, Newcrest has it. I'm assuming it must be all of the ones that are not DLC-based. Yeah, because Magnolia Promenade doesn't have it. Um, oh, Windenburg has it, so almost. Um, let's see, does, does Sulani have it? Why did I ask that question? I think it already had these. That was dumb. Okay. I have a brain. I think, you know what, it's probably not the smaller ones, because these ones are not really cities or towns, right? They're just kind of neighborhoods. Again, this one already had it. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Strangerville kind of. Okay. Strangerville already had it. So I think they've been, they've been building up to this obviously because some of these have already had that where these areas are named and some of these have not, at least in my experience. I don't know. Have I just not been paying attention? It seems new to me. Um, here's where eco lifestyle really comes into effect. Every area that has these districts now has the ability to have an eco footprint, which I think is really cool because that means if you want to play the eco lifestyle gameplay, you do not need to just be in Evergreen Harbor. Like if you want to do the island living conservationist stuff and, you know, make the area look beautiful, you can only do that in Sulani. You can't do that anywhere else. Even if you live in a different world and you take on like island living, you know, jobs and you are a conservationist, you have to travel to Sulani in order to do that which creates a slightly harder challenge in order to do it because you don't just live there um so i i was really impressed by that it changes the reaction of the whole world and honestly it adds a layer of gameplay where you actually have to think about the things that you were doing because simply placing a fireplace is going to have a reaction on the world that you're in and it's going to change the way that it works it's going to change the footprint and uh you have worlds like port promise which are industrial towns which we can see here so this is an industrial town this town is based off of just simoleons this is what people want um you earn more money by selling utilities so if you have things that generate lots of utilities in your house um you can sell extra utilities on your lot, which is very interesting. And how does that work? Can I do that? Is that a thing I can do in reality? Sign me up if I have extra water to have to, you know, have it. Um, who am I selling it to? But yeah, that's basically what that is, is if you have extra utilities, they sell more. And also if you're using like generators to get those utilities, generators obviously lower the, uh, the, the footprint in the world. So uh, having more generators is bad for the world, but in, in an industrial town, you will end up getting more out of those generators. Over here, 
we have a, a green footprint, which is where uh, basically if you're planting things, you will get more out of planting them. They will have higher quality and, you know, obviously if you have items like um, that produce healthy things like candle making or uh, if you're using a fabricator, I think, uh, or if you're using like bees and stuff, then those will produce more as well. And then you have neutral, which does nothing. So I really thought that was cool and I wanted to test how easy it is to sway an area. It's hard. <laughs> I played for three hours and I did not even make a dent in a town, which I actually think at first I was like, oh my God, like this is hard. Like if I do a series on this, this is like, this is hard. That's okay. <laughs> Because I was, as I was thinking about it, it would be really rough if you're just doing a normal game. You don't even want to think about eco lifestyle. You don't want to worry about whether or not uh, you can buy this fireplace because it looks good in your home, but it's also going to just turn your entire neighborhood into a smog filled trash land. Um, you can play normally, and your chances of actually affecting your eco footprint in such a way that it's going to be really bad are fairly low. Like, I. I really was not working very hard. I try. Okay. I went ultra hard mode. I created a sim family in eco f in, in the industrial area because I was like, I'm going to fix the industrial area. That was hard. First of all, second of all, I didn't get anywhere. Third of all, <laughs> um, people in the area are going to be swayed to keep voting for things that are already going on. So I was fighting with people. Uh, I was trying to vote for green um, things to obviously make the town more green. And people, I had to fight everyone in the town not to vote for the industrial things because that's what they wanted, even though that was not what I wanted. When I went over here into the green area, they were all ready to vote for green things. And I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Like the people are changing alongside the world that they're living in. They're, what they want is changing along with what they have, at least as far as I understand. I never got to a point where I could buy or do anything with a community center. I never got that far. I, I know you can do things with a, a community center. Don't know what those things are. <laughs> there is so much to do that I don't know where to start ultimately. And that's actually a really fun feeling like, do I focus on making my sim a maker where they're, a, you know, they have like a freestyle uh, job and they just spend all their time making like candles and other things like that and giving gifts and like fizzy juice and, and the new bug box and the new planter boxes like that. There's so much to work with. There's so much to do. And then like, you know, that's a whole other level of gameplay that you have to think about. Like, okay, now I can grow fruit for my fizzy juice maker. So do I want to, what kind of fruit do I want to grow? Like how are... How do, how do these combine? What do they even do? And that's just one aspect of the game. Um, if you want to focus on, you know, increasing the footprint in your area, like, there's so many things that you can vote on. Just so many things. I don't even know what half of them do because I haven't really seen what they do. Uh, I haven't played long enough. Like, this is a long-term pack. The things that happens in it are just so long-term. They, it, it's like... I don't even know if you can do it in a single Sims lifespan, honestly, which fair reality. Um, and so I, I'm like super stoked about that. Like, do you do that? Do you focus on being a, oh yeah, there's like a civic planner, like a city planner now, uh, where you have a job and you can either be like an eco city uh, planner or you can be an industrial city planner and your whole shtick is, maybe that's the one that does, um, stuff with the community lots. I bet you it is. <laughs> Uh, so obviously that's, that's that. Um, and that's just, I mean, there's so much to think about and there's so much to do in this, which is just very surprising for the Sims because like even now explaining it out loud, it still sounds like a lot and there's still, you know, obviously getting down to the nitty gritty and doing it. But like, even if I were to finish one aspect of eco lifestyle, I would still have so much more to do. And then let's say I, I fixed, uh, you know, uh, bleh. Port Promise, I think this was called. Yeah, let's say I fixed Port Promise. Well, that's like, okay, I still have uh, this area that I can't remember the name of. I still, this area is not perfect. Like, if you go over, there's still trash over there. At that point, why not go everywhere and make everything green? Like, you know, like, let's go over to Willow Creek now and make everything green. Let's, let's go over, can I, 
it, does this exist in Strangerville? No, it doesn't. Okay. I can't fix Strangerville. It's a desert. <laughs> it's also, you know, poisoned by uh, plants, but, you know, you didn't hear that from me. Can I do it here? <gasps> I can. Oh, I love this. Okay. <laughs> this is, I don't know why this is really funny to me. <laughs> Let's go fix LA, guys. Um,. So, I mean, there's there's so much to do with eco-lifestyle. Like, it's a dedicated process that you're doing. You are going everywhere. Can I, oh, yes! Oh, my God, this adds so much to Solani now. Like, not only are you going and fixing this one island, which is a total, you know, just, I can't think of the word, it's a mess. But now you can actually go in and also fix all of the other islands and give them, like, a green footprint. So that's actually really cool. And I'm stoked that they went so far into it. Like, they, they gave it so much. Um, even, oh my god, you could even come over here and do it. Like, I mean, obviously it would get pretty repetitive after a little while. I highly doubt. I wonder if there's an achievement for making every single uh, possible neighborhood in your game a green footprint or an industrial footprint <laughs> my god could you imagine how long a series would be if you decided to go through and ruin everything like wow that would take forever um how, what would you even need to do the parks I, I would be so afraid to look at a world a, an entire sims file where everything was turned into um an industrial footprint like god could you imagine the smoke oh could you imagine sulani that would be heartbreaking i couldn't do it um, so I mean like there you go see like there's so much room for stuff to do which is like actually kind of exciting to me um, Now obviously I have only played this for three hours. I I don't know how this is gonna go I don't know if this is like one of those things where you're like wow There's so much to do and then you actually get started and then you're like eh, there's not that much to do. I'm done uh, You know like we've had quite a few of those um, but I just, I, I think actually Get Famous was that for me. Like, I don't know what it is about Get Famous. I love the idea of it. Every time I'm like, you know what? This is it. Today's the day I'm going to get to level 10 of the acting career. I think I make it to like five without getting a degree. Max, five max. And then I'm like burned out on actor. <laughs> like I get burned out. So I am actually kind of stoked about this gameplay. Like it also just increases the need to actually go out and talk to people because in The Sims, I have always been very antisocial. It's funny, out, out in the real world, I have no problem talking to people, but in The Sims, I don't know, I always used to just avoid social as much as possible. Like I wanted nothing to do with other Sims. This was, I was really bad at this in, in Sims 2. I think that's how all my Sims died was social need. Um, in The Sims 3, again, I, I just, I don't even think my Sims ever left the house. Like, I used to get, um, no, that has to be Sims 4. Yeah, in The Sims 4, I still actually deal with the fact that they just get cooped up and they go stir-crazy because I forget to have them leave the house because, I don't know, I'm antisocial in The Sims. Go away, people, I don't want to talk to you. Um, but in this, now, in the game, it actually has a lot of reasons for you to go talk to people because you need to get influence points in order to have any sway on the things that people are voting for. So now there's an, like, an actual reason to work toward, like, the friend of the world perk where, uh, I think the lifetime wish is, um, friend of the world. I think that's actually literally what it's called. And there's, there's a reason to do that now instead of just, you know, storytelling. Like, you know what? Pop that sucker on. Get those points because, you know, you might as well. You get to talk to a lot of people. Might as well get something out of it. Uh, so, yeah. I I mean, like, obviously this was not a review of everything that there is in there. I'm sure there's like 500,000 people doing that. I thought I'd just put my thoughts down on the table even though literally nobody wants them. Um... <laughs> And I, I guess I'm just really excited. I do want to do gameplay videos of this on my channel, but I thought that I would do just like a first impression, thoughts on the table type video first. Um, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. I, uh, I hope you guys found this interesting or something. And uh, let me know what you guys think of the pack so far. If you have it, if you play The Sims, does anybody who watches my videos play the sims except for like five people um you know let me know are you, are you stoked about this have you seen gameplay videos like am i just uh, are my first thoughts a little too excited like let me know has it disappointed you i want to hear um and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye